Greetings and salutations, I'm Keb, you're you, this is XCOM Terror from the Deep, and uh, we are about to mess with our first UFO. Or are we? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put one of the subs in patrol over the damn thing while we wait for daylight. I want to try to avoid doing night missions. Most likely that thing's gonna take off before the day time arrives. There we go. So I'm gonna send you out there. Uh, I'm gonna make sure that Barracuda 2 is also out there because I think Barracuda 1 is running out of fuel. And we shall see how this goes. I am gonna make a save because if things go really badly, I want to see if we can survive it. <laughs> I'm probably gonna do this before every mission. Uh, yeah. Mission start. It is a bit, bit cheaty, uh, probably, if I, if I start using save reload often, but I'm gonna try not to do that. I'm gonna try not to do as much save reloading. But I want to have the insurance just in case I really screw up and lose the entire squad or something. That's exactly what I suspect would happen. The thing would lift up just before a Triton arrived. Oh well. So instead of a uh, an intact UFO, we get a damaged UFO, which is fine. Uh, yeah, there we go. It ain't the end of the world, but we did pay like uh, 28k in torpedoes. <laughs> we, just four, we launched four torpedoes. Uh, we won't need the tasers because no one's gonna be able to actually... We, or rather we can't um, bring back live aliens yet, we don't have the clean containment facility ready to go. Anyways, our soldiers are ready to go. Everybody has the uh, guns. And the grenades. And the extra belts. And uh, do, 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 let's do that one as well. <laughs> Save at the start of the turn. So let's see if I can recall this. Uh, there's the... That's the sna that, no, that's the order shot, right? Uh, which one is which? There's snapshot, there's auto shot, there's aim shot, and I don't recall which is which. Unfortunately. Is that the snapshot? I guess we'll find out. Anyways, let's venture out into our doom. Because that is what's gonna happen. The thing is, the aliens can see you before you can see them, so yeah. Snapshot, okay, so that's good, that's good. At least I know, that's the snapshot. That is the one I want to reserve time units for. You know what I didn't do? I didn't, when we intercepted the UFO, I didn't look at this picture. So I don't know if it's the smallest UFO we're currently fighting, or the medium-sized one, or the, or the small ships. And uh, that's a bit of a problem, because then I don't know exactly how many aliens I'm facing. Not that I remember the numbers anyways. <laughs> and it's been ages. But basically, the bigger the UFO, the more aliens you're gonna face. And of course, the, it, it's also dependent on difficulty setting. So... There is a correct number, I don't recall what it is, though. Because, again, it's been like... I, don't, I think it's been 20 years since I played this game. Keep that in mind, please. <laughs> There's a reason I don't remember all the details. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna send the rest of the soldiers out of the UFO just yet. Just gonna prep the next squad. And between turns, the door should close and protect them in case something horribly... ...horribly explosive or whatever goes up. I think I'm gonna leave the U4 in reserve. Yeah, that seems fine. Oh boy! That's not where I'd expected an alien to be. 
He didn't shoot at me though, he was right over there. He didn't shoot at me. So although I can see the boxes and everything here, I can't see the alien. He's right there, I think. Uh-oh. There's no cover. I think Amy or Jamie or whatever, I think you're gonna be our first casualty. But first you need to see the alien. Um, is he that well hidden? Are you kidding me? He should be right over there. Why can't you see him? I didn't mistake that, did I? No, it was over there. I don't think other boxes like that. Why can't you see him? There's no cover here, so... Oh. <laughs> okay, so you can't see him at all. And you can. Oh, uh, boy. Anyways, Jamie, can you shoot? Yeah, 24% chance. Hey, good on you. You actually hit him. That I hadn't expected. I expected him to die. Oh, well. Oh, same same name. Quevedos? Brothers, Alfredo and Jaime. Odds of both brothers surviving this campaign is pretty much zero. <laughs> I can tell you that right now. Maybe they're twins, who knows. Anyways, that's one alien down. There's the craft. Wait a second, this is one of the big ones actually. Isn't it? Isn't that the large scout? Because it has like a fishtail here, right? And it had a really bad blowout by the looks of things. Um, that means there are quite a few aliens about. Yeah, it's one of the larger scouts. Oh boy. Well, hopefully there are quite a few dead aliens since they blew up the engines on the thing when we uh, shot it down. Of course, that also means there's gonna be less loot. Oh well. That is okay. In the early game, I don't really care too much about that. And the reason for that is that I don't have the armor, right? I, I do not have soldier survivability until we've done the first terror mission. Which won't happen until the end of the month, first month. So I'm not gonna worry too much about this. Instead we're gonna send out the shooting gallery. That's the other thing that I don't like about uh, tear from the deep compared to uh, X the first XCOM. There never seems to be enough cover. These underwater scenarios just do not have the same amount of cover that you had in the first XCOM game, because in the first XCOM game you had a whole bunch of trees, you had a whole bunch of buildings. You don't really have that on the ocean floor. Not to the same extent anyways. I mean there are bits of wreckage here and there and stuff like that, but never enough to matter. Usually it's all these small rolling hills. And it's kind of difficult to get protection from that. Anyways. Okay, there we go. And you shot and missed. Okay, and shot and missed. Okay, let's see if we can remember where all those aliens were. We only lost like one, one dude. So there's one alien over here, there was one, I, was, it, was it in the craft, I don't recall. There was at least one over there, and one somewhere up there. So yeah. So someone died. As I said before, odds are we're gonna have a lot of deaths. Because we can't take damage. Like one hit and we're dead. Okay, you actually see someone. All right, there he is. Uh, and of course, you can only shoot once. If 
if you kneel, will you be able to actually see him still? I'm not sure. And the thing that annoys me is that if I kneel, he might react fire and we might die. So even if I wanted to spend the time units trying testing that out. Ah, heck with it, let's test it. Okay, we didn't die, we, and we still have sights. Good. Okay, fine. Give us snapshots. Vengeance! Okay, just stay kneeled. It's fine. Can't do more shots anyways. Uh, so he was shot from over there. Let's see if our... Color here can do something. There we go, you can actually see the alien. Um, can you do two snapshots? You cannot. You can do an aim shot though. Uh, we can kneel and do a snapshot, or we can do an aim shot. Let's do an aim shot. That felt good. You know, after playing the modern XCOMs, seeing the numbers here, the chance numbers, feels so... Uh, feels wrong. Because the chance numbers here are much lower. But you're actually gonna hit anyways. Anyways, we know there's someone, someone over there, right? Um, I guess Talbot is gonna be the one. To see that alien. Oh, he's facing us. If we kneel... Uh, you know what, let's do an aim shot. And we missed. Uh, I don't know if he's going to get more cover if he kneels. He's behind a hill. Might help. I don't know. Now, you don't actually have to see him to shoot, so... I just need a line of sight. Which I think we do have. Um, kneel and just... Well, we could do two snapshots. Let's do two snapshots. He can't see us, so he should be able to return fire, right? Uh, I missed both shots. Oh well. Um, well, I need you to have a clear line of sight. That's the first thing. There. I kind of want to line you up so you don't shoot your friend in the back of the head. Which is something XCOM soldiers love to do. Um. I'm gonna move you up on the wing. Oh, dang it. Right, I forgot that text an extra movement. That's a pity. Uh, is it... I think it's four time units to kneel down. But then I don't know if you can have, have a line of sight. Ah, okay, let's shoot from there. Lucky! So yeah, we saw this guy, we saw that guy. Was there someone over here? I don't remember now <laughs> where the last one was. I think I want to move you over there. You guys are gonna keep approaching the UFO. Uh, I want to keep you in the inside the sub for now. Okay, so you kill him, so there shouldn't be anyone on this side of the map now. It's a bit scary to approach that sub. Okay, let's go with that. We killed all the aliens we saw, I think. Oh, oh, oh! Uh oh, that was a grenade! No! Ow! Ow! Uh oh! <laughs> yeah, there was one more on the on that hill. Dang it! Yeah, 
you shot your own soldier, didn't you? Yeah, you did. This guy is probably bleeding out right now. Yep, two fatal wounds. Oh boy. Okay, so we lost one, two, two soldiers that to that grenade. We lost another shot. Okay, so we lost four soldiers so far. This is turning into one of those disaster ones. So we know there's one alien here, there's one alien over there. Most of our soldiers have panicked. This guy is almost dead anyway, so I might as well send him forward. I don't have medkits, so he, he won't survive. The only way this guy will survive is if this is the uh, last alien. Or these two are the last aliens. Uh, he might as well kneel. Then do the shot. And he failed. That's a pity. Um, I don't know if this one's salvageable at this point. <laughs> it was my own fault. I sent out a whole bunch of soldiers into uh, a, a, a small area. And that is just begging for a grenade. That guy sir, didn't die. He didn't scream. Oh, you're also badly wounded. Okay, we're gonna lose two soldiers next turn. Two wounds. And I don't think you can do the snapshot now. Can you? You can. Okay, vengeance. Oh, you're also dead. <laughs> we're gonna lose seven soldiers. Oh boy. Yeah, again, it was my own miss. Oh, no. We don't lose eight soldiers. <laughs> okay, the alien grenades have a bit longer radius than I, than I remember. How many, how many squares? One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Seven squares? Six squares? That's considerably more than our grenades. I think our grenades have, has a range of like two. Okay. How not to play 101. So we're gonna lose a whole bunch of soldiers to fatal wounds here. Ugh. Well, that was the two last two aliens. Okay, never mind. So the alien that was captured alive, he's gonna die, that's fine, but it did mean we saved the three soldiers that were critically wounded. But yeah. <laughs> that could have gone better. We're not gonna do the mission over though. Because again, I know that in the early game here you're gonna have a ton of fatalities, but here I lost a couple of soldiers just to stupidity. I, I had them too close, and we lost them to grenades. But there was no way to get cover on that map anyways. Oh well. As for the UFO, pretty much everything was destroyed. And the UFO carried eight soldiers. Okay, now I know... Then I know... I have to try to remember that. The Dark Scout sub will have eight soldiers. Maybe. No, we'll see. Anyways, we got some aquaplastics, some zerbite, uh, some corpses. And four dead XCOM soldiers, but at least at least the you know, guys that were wounded survived. That's something, I suppose. But again, uh, fatalities are to be reckoned with <laughs> or expected in the early game. Still got an okay rating, so. Uh, and now, of course, that's going to change. It irks me that that that's still in the game that we have to. Re-click these buttons between every mission. Of course, what I'm really interested in, is in the, are these two, and of course, the most important one of all, score. It has to be above zero. <sighs> and that's the funding thing, by the way. Mm, so, I believe the United States should... What? Okay! I didn't know this. Okay, so the funding isn't set in stone in the early game. Uh, the Asian coalition pays a hell of a lot more than the US. I thought the US was always hard-coded to be the uh, rich contributor. Oh boy. 
been bet on the wrong horse here. <laughs> it's a good thing that they're not active over in the Indian, Indian Ocean then, I suppose. Anyways, uh, the in country that they are active in is... Uh... Oh, New Mexico. We should be able to protect New Mexico, though. Africa Corp is probably not going to like us too much. Hopefully they won't withdraw from the project in the first month. Just kind of my fear. As for our soldiers, I believe that uh, we have quite a few wounded ones. We recovered the cannons, right? Yeah, so we didn't lose the guns and everything. That's fine. That's good. But a whole bunch of them were wounded. Yeah, four wounded soldiers and four dead soldiers. <laughs> These things happen, okay? <laughs> At least the mission finished in time to save those four soldiers. It could have gone a lot worse. And it would have gone a lot worse if we had, like, one more turn. Then we, those four guys would have died, I'm fairly certain. But yeah, without armor, the soldiers are gonna die in a droves. This is one of the reasons why I didn't play this game as much as I did the first one. In the first one I could at least get to the point where I could survive earlier. And the other reason I didn't like this game is the, um, um, the terror missions. They have some uh, ship attack missions, and those missions are atrocious because they are they are two parters. And also, if you if you play this game, and if you cleared the cruise ship mission, you know what I'm talking about, right? You have to go through the whole cruise ship, every single cabin, because there are bound to be aliens hiding in one of the cabins. So you have to check every single one of them. And when you do that, you're gonna get shot at. Because you open the door and the alien's gonna shoot you in the face. It's been waiting for you. So I hated those missions. And it's not like you could use high explosives to blow out all the doors. <laughs> to, to surprise the aliens either. That wouldn't really be efficient. Anyways, uh, we got a live living quarters. We don't have the funds to actually bring in more scientists, which is what I kind of wanted to do. But so be it. It's all also in the middle of the month, so it wouldn't have been economical, I think. I could have man ma manufactured some Gauss rifles. No, not, not Gauss rifles, Gauss pistols. I could, but we're about to research the rifles anyways, right? The reason I, the reason I wanted to produce the Gauss pistols is that the manufacturing cost is less than the sell cost of those guns. So you basically make money. Oh right, we caught him over land there just briefly. Uh, that's the medium scout, I think. There we go. So I gotta admit, I'm kind of hesitant in doing those missions this early. Because we're gonna get killed in droves. Okay, it's daytime now. Um, but you gotta try, right? You gotta try. Can I see the wounded status on my soldiers? Let's see. Where was that again? I have to go to Aquanauts and click on those guys. Yeah, his health is recuperating. Wound recovery, 27 days. Yikes. It doesn't look that wounded, but okay. 14 days. Yeah, wound recovery is going to be pretty bad. Anyways, we have, four, four, we have 14 soldiers. So we're going to do a quick little save. Mission start. I mean, as long as we get a positive score, I'm fine with, <laughs> with not reloading, I think, maybe. <laughs> but again, we are going to lose a whole bunch of soldiers. They're just way too squishy. Until we get the first level of armor. And of course, they are have a terrible commander, so... Things are bound to go badly. Uh, the alien containment still isn't ready, was it? I forgot to check that. 
No, I think the alien containment still needs for like one day to finish. Oh well, so I'm not gonna bother with the tasers. Instead, we are just gonna see uh, what lies out of the sub uh, this time around. But that'll have to be next time, and it's time for a short break. Thank you for watching.